this tag was supposed to come out before the last tag did, but technically the last ta tag was a theme, so um, we're doing them in a reverse order. Hi guys, Crystal here, and I have another tag video for you guys. This one was brought to you by Danny. She tagged me. Uh, the original video will also be down below, as well as hers. And this is the story idea tag. Uh, we get to talk about the story and how we get ideas for the story and all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to jump right into it with question number one. What is your current story idea that you're working on right now? So right now I'm working on, as many of you may know, Project Incarnate. Specifically the first book in the series, which I've called Project Second Soul. It is my paranormal vampire fantasy series where a woman gets thrown into a whirlwind of vampires, gods, and magic, and really has to figure out where the hell she fits into it all, and where her place is in it. Question two. Spark of inspiration. Do your ideas begin with a character, plot, world building, or something else entirely? For me, it's plot. At least that's what I think, anyway. Though, then again, I think my answer to this question changes from moment to moment. I know sometimes I want something to happen. And sometimes I want the characters to do specific things, and I fill the scene in around them. Semi-organically, anyway, I think. Am I making sense? I don't know. Question three. Brainstorm. How do you puzzle pieces of your story together? Does it start with an ending uh, and make your way to the beginning, or vice versa? For me, I usually think out of order. Like, I have different ideas that pop up. I've known the ending to one of my stories for a very long time. Um, but I work from the prologue to the epilogue. I've tried to outline nine times out of ten. Or I've tried to outline and nine times out of ten it doesn't work. It's every And every there's, there's pieces that come in chunks. Hell, nine times. Right now, I'm actually not working with an outline. I'm retrying to draft and I actually have no idea what, what the ending is. Because now it makes absolutely no sense. Question four. Keep or toss? How do you know when to keep or dump a story idea? I mean, aside from the fact of being told by my beta readers that it's kind of garbage? Um, if it stops making sense or I start getting, un like, unable to push further, like if I get stuck, I usually backtrack, read it over, and if there's a hole or if there's a wall or if it doesn't feel organic enough, I will slag the, I'll trash the idea and start over, or I'll take it from another character's perspective, or I'll just kind of move things around. And if none of that works, is tossed, is getting tossed. It's in the, pew, um, like the ending right now. I've murdered four chapters in my current revision because there was big plot holes. And I realized there is nothing I can keep from that, or mostly nothing, which is, Every time I think about it, I get sad. Let's move on. Question five. Original idea. How much of your original idea for your story is actually used once everything is finished? That really depends mostly. Because technically the original, 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 original uh, version of this story is originally the thing that I no longer name. Um, but I seem to always mention. The only stuff that exists from that story is the core concept of the female character, that my, my lead character and my bad guy are exist, and there's conflict around them and stuff happens, and the, um, the area for what is now the prequel um, still exists. But this is a, but Project Incarnate is a retelling of that story. And a lot of that ended up on the wayside while I was drafting and planning and plotting and possibly even scheming. So there is like shards of an original idea in there somewhere. Question six, hide or share. Do you share your book ideas with your friends or keep them secret? I like to share. Not going to lie a lot. And I have probably mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure I annoy people with how much I like to share, but Certain people have told me that I shouldn't be annoyed that I like to share at least with them because they want to hear all about my book. So that's totally fair. So I will probably share my ideas until uh, they get annoyed. 
I love you guys. Um, there are certain people I don't share with anymore. I do keep them secret. Um, I do also kind of get paranoid sometimes that maybe I'm sharing too much that I might um, lose stuff, I guess. And uh, yeah, I just, every time I have a new idea concept, I'm just like, guys, 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 is this good? Is this good? Should I put this in? Should I? Should I? Because I really need validation sometimes, I think. So yeah, I'm a share girl and I should probably kind of taper back. Question seven, dream. Have any of your book ideas originated from a dream or a nightmare? Yeah, 100%. Um, hell, the original, original, original thing started, started as a dream where all I remember from the dream is being at the base of a lake um, that had been dammed to create a village. And all that was left of this village, uh, because of something I don't remember, it was literally just one cabin sitting in the sitting next to this riverbed. And the main character was there. And she was being hunted by the antagonist. Um, it was also like right after I watched Underworld. I don't actually know where the cabin came from aside from that. Um... I've had other dreams before where instead of dreaming from my perspective, I'm dreaming a lot from Alex's or Liz's perspective and stuff that happens and in with what they're doing. Sometimes it pops up into a dream. The in, There's one village in the prequel that was from a dream and part of that I adapted to um, a location in book two, which is a... Um, an old school military bunker. In the dream, it was a dwarven ruins because I was playing Skyrim at the time. So, long answer to that question. Yeah. I dream about uh, stuff for my story a lot and a lot of it ends up into the books. Question eight. Doppelganger. Have you ever had a story idea but then see a similar pre pre premise to a book or a TV show? I can talk. And I would say yeah. I've been working on this story for in one iteration or another since I was 18. I'm now 32. And part parts of my 12 year break notwithstanding, um, it's bound to happen. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, but like Danny said in her video, nothing's original. Like, well, not much of nothing is original. It we're we're just our experiences and our ideals and everything thrown onto a piece of paper or word document and we're influenced by everything around us. I think I just said the same thing twice, but you get the idea. So probably question nine, big screen inspiration. Have any of your favorite movies or TV shows sparked ideas for scenes of your, of your book? Yes. Even if it's not something from my genre, like if I, especially if I watch stuff that's new, every once in a while something will something will click, something will like like a firework popping in my brain. And so I have to write down whatever I'm thinking at the time while I'm watching this. And then sometimes something comes out of it. Not all the time, but sometimes. Um which is half the reason why I don't watch a lot of new programming and I watch a lot of my favorite stuff over and over and over and over again because the i the spark doesn't happen as often as it does when i'm watching new stuff and then you think about the questions actually asked if the favorite stuff well that's part of why i think it makes my favorite stuff um like i'm a big fan of forever night moonlight blood ties interview the vampire forever night Did i say that one already i don't know um underworld um Leverage, Firefly, all these things I love rewatching. And there are moments that just inspire me to, tr to try something myself. So, yeah. I think I'm rambling a lot for these answers. Question 10 Nostalgia. What are the f oldest first story ideas you remember coming up with slash writing down? Aside from the Cabin of the Woods, which I mentioned in a previous question. There's also the house in the thunderstorm. Um, 
where it's just this this manor house uh lights are lights are out I barely remember this and there is a body in the middle of the floor all beat up and it was a character there's this it was a man running from something and trying to escape the storm and he broke into this manor house where the main character who would be the original the original version of elizabeth and alex um found it was right when underworld came out um just like the cabin in the woods so it was around the same time and yeah i barely remember anything aside from that but i'm pretty sure those are the first ones i mean okay the first one was like a buffy the vampire slayer au where i threw the alex slash elizabeth character in it um but i don't know if that counts because this is for my current story uh anyway see i'm start i wrote a script and then i started thinking about stuff as i'm looking at these questions this is why we don't write scripts here on this channel usually but that was a lot of fun and i'm going to tag oh god i don't remember if, if danny tagged katie well if she didn't i am i'm also going to tag caitlin ash and other and sophie i am tagging them i'm also tagging anyone else who wants to do this because i am also a person who loves just going i tag you unnamed person who is watching my video you have been tagged and if that means you've been tagged twice Maybe talk about two different stories. There's going to be another tag video coming out at some point. Um, I don't have a script for that one. I should. Because uh, this is the one that I've been trying to do for months. And I keep having technical issues. And then stuff keeps pushing it back and then work. And then I got sick. But there's one more tagging, tag video coming out um, at some point. It's probably now like the first week of January. So it might be the... It might be the first week of January now. So it might be the second, January, second week of January when that comes out. I don't know. I'm not going to promise any dates. Every time I promise things, promise things, stuff goes stuff goes haywire. So I'm just gonna say we have more tags coming. I tag you if you want to ta if you want to be tagged. You have been tagged by me. Um, Chaos Queens appear, possibly stream. I am talking in the past regarding the future. So editor me any information the Chaos Queens have come up with. Please put it at the bottom of the screen now. Thank you. <laughs> Until next time. I love and appreciate every single one of you, and we will see you guys in the next video or stream, depending on where you find me next. Bye, guys! <laughs>